Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. Right. What was I doing? <laughs> that was the key. Oh yeah, I've got another key. Life insurance. Bought this on the vending machine. It looks real though. The tag to the key that says Albertan Life Insurance. Hey. Sure that is irrelevant. So let's go back to the katana for now. Right. Okay, so Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. Is that door Yeah, first floor Alberta Life Insurance. Okay, so down to the first floor and then I can unlock that door, I believe. That all adds up to me. Will it be as simple as that, though? You can never really tell with Silent Hill games. This way. There we go. And that's those sniffer things. He's dead. Ammunition. Uh. And to drop Blonky the way, fair enough. Well, that wasn't too bad. At least there was only two of them. Uh, the end of that fairy tale. Ah. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them and granted, granting their wishes, healed the priestess. The priestess opened her eyes just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? No, this time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task when it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You can't kill me, the monster laughed. But the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a single spell. Too few, too few I ego eurists. Sorry if I've just cursed you. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry and then died and vanished. 
Thus the villagers were able to use their gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess and they all lived happily ever after. I don't believe they did. Too fooey. Ego Ares. Weird writing. <gasps> what was that? I believe that was the creature crying out in pain. Alright, so we literally just came in here for that. Alright. Hey, it's gone. How about that? Oh, look at... Ah, we're back outside. And in the quote-unquote real world. Time for cafe. Nothing there. All right, excellent. I don't have a map of this area. Okay, then. if we can find one, shall we? I have no idea where I'm going. <sighs> Door there. With the light on, so maybe it's open. That's not my place. Oh! Have I returned home? Convenient, living right next to the hospital. Or whatever that place was. A save point. Mailbox is empty. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, uh, mental clinic. Apartment hall. Okay. But this is my place. Why should I leave the apartment? What? I don't need to use the elevator, my apartment is number 102 on the ground floor. Stairway, alright. You're being very stubborn about this, Heather. Right. There's our apartment. Let's just check down here. Wait, we made it home. Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Dad? Oh god, that's... Yeah, it's Harry. We also saw in Silent Hill too. No. 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 
I don't think there's any way of keeping Harry alive. He's going to be dead out either way. Which makes it more frustrated that I've never seen the good ending of the original Silent Hill. I will get back to that at some point. Blood leading away. But I wanted to check out the apartment. Did you do this? You're late. But why? Why? Revenge for 17 years ago, for one thing. If not for him, our dream would have come true. And then he took you away from us. I'll get you for this! another reason to fill your heart with hatred it must be this way one day you'll understand why no I'll never understand you must try to remember me and your true self as well you will birth a god and build an eternal paradise the one who killed your father. I merely gave the order. So, what will you do? I'll be waiting where all begins. In the town of Silent Hill. Gonna beat this guy. Whoa, okay, uh, let's see. So that's the strap. Oh, Jack. 
wonder. Rocky's not helping. Really not helping. Right, the katana's too short. Maybe try that. It's not doing any good. Got no ammo. know what to do here. Yeah, I know I died. Oh god. Oh no, it's, it should be fine because I saved in the apartment, didn't I? Okay, we're going to start here. Did you do this? Oh, my God. 
to be behind him really Sorry if you couldn't see that very clearly, I had no real idea what to do there. Wait, what? Oh, it's the detective man. I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything. I'm fine, so just get out of here and leave me alone already! Calm down. I just... Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? My father is dead! He's murdered! Get out! This is all your fault! If it weren't for you... I'm sorry Then go! If it'll make you feel better, I will. I mean, he could have given us some answers. Is he okay like this? What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. I'm going to Silent Hill. What's in Silent Hill? I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't 
don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. When I find her, I'll kill her myself. But that's what she wants. Think. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How do you get there? None of your business. I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. I'll bring the car around back. Come by when you finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. Damn! Dad's bookshelf, there's nothing unusual about it. Nothing odd about the TV or the VCR. Oh, Harry, your housekeeping was, uh... I'll be back, Dad. I'll promise I'll come home soon. on the table why did you have to die you told me you were the strongest man in the world liar there's no need to go back out the roof the monster is dead now Douglas is waiting outside Head to Silent Hill, I guess. I just met some guy named Vincent. Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. And he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. Thanks, Eagle Eye. I'm awake. You cold? What's the deal with Silent Hill anyway? It used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now... You've been there? Once. On a missing persons case. Never did find him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work, you hear a lot of nasty rumors. Oh, 
was born and raised there. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? Feeling sick? My head's pounding like the worst hangover ever. Maybe your car sick. No. I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. That's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. You see, that girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, that god was killed by a single person. My father, Harry Mason. I guess it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. Same thing again. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you too. After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. Ah, so that's the good ending to Silent Hill. Me just like I was his very own daughter. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. So sudden. I never had a chance to tell you, to tell you how happy you made me. Come on, behave. Heavy stuff. I'm good, thanks. I'm gonna head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. Got the map, right? Yep. Yeah. You gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? You're right. I am afraid. I'm 50-something years old. I've never seen nothing like this. 
to feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke already. Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. All right, we're, hit. we're finally back in Silent Hill. And with that... Who knows, Heather? Who knows? Guess we'll find out in the next episode. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Silent Hill 3, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.